to be standing in front of you on this historic day. I have witnessed the closeness of our two countries, and I have understood through uh, deed and word what it has taken to get us to this point. Long ago, uh, over 130 years ago, a, a group of missionaries came and established the first, uh, we could call it hospital, but I think it was really just a, it was a small little health center that did become, in fact, a hospital in 1903. Uh, we were the first forward operating base for the U.S. Navy in the Middle East, in the Kingdom of Bahrain, 1948, I believe. We have consistently uh, been the first to promulgate uh, the free trade agreement that we did uh, as the first GCC country to sign it. And we are the first country to, to, to create the, uh, the U.S. trade zone that we believe is going to be the foundation of something that we are both so passionately working towards. Uh, you articulated exactly what this agreement is about. It is uh, of, I believe, in a sense of imperativeness, mm -hmm. a need. The world today is faced by a number of choices. People are faced by a number of choices. Either the rise of authoritarianism or the growth of libertarianism. And the international rules-based order that manifested itself um, in the early 19th century um, was the foundation for the freedom of trade, of the movement of ideas, of people all over the world. And we're all beneficiaries of that. And those common values, the values of a, of a Bedouin in the desert of Arabia who could pick up his house and move uh, if he didn't like the level of rainfall he had or something, um, is essentially the freedom to go where one wants to go, to live how one wants to live, and to build a future for one's children that is hopefully brighter than the one that they lived. This agreement, by focusing not only on security and defense, which is essential, but also on economy, on the economy, on people, and on technology, will be the foundation for a new global architecture, I believe, as it's open-ended, it's, it's, an open, it's an open agreement. We will be welcoming uh, more members, hopefully, um, that I think is as significant as the decisions that were taken after many of the global upheavals historically. So um, we are setting sail confidently. We are reaffirming our direction. And I couldn't be more honored uh, on behalf of His Majesty to be here to sign this agreement on this day with you in Washington, DC. Thank you, Mr. Secretary. Thank you. من جانبه أكد معالي السيد أنتوني بلينكن وزير خارجية الولايات المتحدة الأمريكية الصديقة أن مملكة البحرين